Oh, hey there. Today, we're going to turn up the tune on the old Dodge. That seems like a good idea. All right, so this is my 2010 uh, Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins. I just got it a little while ago, um, just before the winter, and chose the 2010 because it didn't have uh, def fluid. I also chose it because it's the colors I like. I like the red, um, but more importantly, I like the interior color. So I like the interior color. Um, yeah, it's a bit dirty, needs to be cleaned out, but I like the the two-tone, the brown, and the tan, um, Laramie, uh, like I said, 3500 so it's got all the options that I want, and uh, definitely a nice truck. What we're going to do now, so race me, this is the race me junior, um, I've done the 60 horsepower tune, but I want to turn it up and try the 120, and I was waiting till basically got warmer out, so now it's getting warmer, um, yeah, the seat's stained, i got to fix that at some point, but um, actually, it's not stained. I think someone tried to clean something off and got the rubbed all the dye off. Um, so we're going to try going up to the 120 here on the Race Me tuner just to see what it's like. Here we are. We've got the tuner plugged in. I've got my instructions. Um, so we're just going to go. This has already been done once already. So we're just going to go to the change software programs. So it says you can choose one of the three levels um, if the software's already been done. So basically you go to, okay, use the up and down arrow to select the software. Connecting, turn key off, it is off. Okay, turn key on. Now it's on. Turn key off, it is off. Turn key on. It's on. Connecting. Please wait. Okay, so software level two. So I'm going to level three, which is performance. I'll push over. Push over again. Please wait. Programming. All right, so I guess we just wait until it's programmed. Okay, so here we are. We're at 92% now. Um, in the instruction manual, it said it was going to take about two minutes, and I think we're into about six or eight minutes now, so I think it's closer to 10. So a little bit off on their evaluation there of time, unfortunately. But uh, here we are, 96%, uh, 97 we're getting there. Turn key off. Press this. Turn key on. Okay, turn key off. Update done. Unplug race me. All right, so I'm going to unplug it. Oops, that's what it told us to do. In this truck, I've updated the factory you connect to a Kenwood, I think this is a DMC or DMX 706S model. Yeah, DMX 706S um, Kenwood. I had this in here for a couple days and I'm really liking it. So it's got Apple CarPlay on it. Um, it's really, really nice. So what's cool about it too is it plugs into the OBD port um, and gives you a display and gauges and stuff on the actual Stereo, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to plug that in. So let's fire this bad boy up. I'll let the heater run. The grid heater. There we go. So we're supposed to have 120 more horsepower. Um, doesn't sound any different right off the bat. 
Uh, oh, but there's definitely black stuff. Huh. Well, that's kind of nifty. Take this bad boy for a rip. Oh, that definitely is better. Oh, she barks now. I don't know if I'm going to leave this tune on it because it's uh, it's a bit dirty. All right, so definitely more power. Uh, barks a little bit of the black stuff, uh, but that's all right, I guess. Uh, yeah, definitely more power out of it. More throttle response too, actually. It's, it, I thought that it was gonna be more drastic than it was, or is, um, but it really just seems more throttle response. Uh, so, I don't know, we're gonna see. I'll, I'll drive this for a bit and see how it is, but uh, I don't know that I will leave it on this tune. Um, because of the black stuff, I mean, this is off-road use only, right? But, I don't know, it seems like it's actually clearing up. Maybe it's just blown carbon out, I don't know. Um, anyways, we'll see how it goes. And uh, But anyways, so far, I like it. Race Me Junior uh, was, as you saw, really simple to do, the tune. And uh, here we go. So we're supposed to have 120 more horsepower and, I don't know, what is it supposed to be? A thousand something foot-pounds of torque from what I've seen? Pretty cool. Um, anyways, love this truck. So, thanks. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this. And uh, stick around for some other videos that we've got on doing some cool car stuff. Thanks. Take care.